Today we're going to demonstrate how to troubleshoot the Gilson SS8R and SS12R tapping sieve shaker. First, unplug the unit from any power source. To access and troubleshoot the parts inside the unit, you first remove the left and right case covers. Remove the four cover mounting screws. Next, Remove the right case cover. Now, remove the two hex nut screws located inside the case cover. And then remove the left case cover. You are now ready to inspect the unit. If your unit fails to operate and you have already confirmed your power source is working properly, check the drive belt tension which should deflect 1 8 inch when properly tightened. If the drive belt is broken or worn, replace it by loosening the four motor mounting bolts and sliding the motor towards the left side of the machine, thereby loosening the tension on the belt. Now remove the drive belt from both pulleys and pull it straight up over the clamping system. Place the new drive belt onto both pulleys and pull the motor to the right to tension the drive belt to deflect 1 8 inch when properly tightened. And then tighten the four motor mounting bolts. If the drive belt appears operational, then visually check the motor for any irregularities such as damage or burn marks. Next, check all wiring for any disconnections. Now check the timer for any signs of damage. If the unit runs but the impact tapping fails, you need to check the hammer springs. First, remove the drive belt from both pulleys. Note the orientation of the assembly for reinsertion later. Now remove the two remaining mounting cap screws from the mounting plate. Next, Lift the entire assembly out of the case and set it on its side. Take care not to put too much weight on the rods. Now check the hammer springs to make sure they are not disconnected or broken. Reconnect or replace the hammer springs as needed. If the unit operates but is excessively noisy, you'll need to check the bumper block. Remove the drive belt from both pulleys and lift the entire assembly as previously instructed. Now check the resilient faces on the bumper block for any excessive wear or damage. And replace the bumper block if necessary. Now that you have completed your internal inspection of the unit, return the entire assembly to within the case. Insert the two cap screws to the mounting plate and tighten securely. Next, return the drive belt onto both pulleys and pull the motor to the right to tension the drive belt and tighten the four motor mounting bolts. Return the left case cover and reinsert the two hex nut screws on the cover flange. Next, return the right case cover section and tighten the four cover mounting screws. There may be several causes if your unit appears unstable, shakes, or walks too much during operation. First, make sure the unit is level. Properly level the unit by adjusting the leveling legs and then locking the legs in place with the lock nuts. For the SS12R 12-inch tapping sieve shaker, make sure the weighted platform adapter is used when sieving with 8-inch diameter sieves. Be sure the sieve stack is properly secured by loosening and reclamping the sieve stack. Check if the sieve stack is over 20 inches. The Gilson SS8R and SS12R sieve shakers are counterbalanced to permit freestanding operation with most common particle sizing. But with very tall sieve stacks, 
the unit may move around during operation. Normally this condition occurs only with CIV stacks exceeding 20 inches in height. For any questions concerning the Gilson SS8R or the SS12R tapping CIV shakers, or for any other Gilson product, please contact the Gilson Technical Support Team.